In this tutorial, we will be going over effective framing techniques focusing specifically on the rule of thirds, the use of space, and contrast within a photo. The rule of thirds is the most basic introductory rule of photography. It splits the image horizontally and vertically into thirds with the use of four lines. In this image, the lines are red to help emphasize their location. The rule of thirds states that your image should place a subject along these lines instead of placing it in the center of the photo, much like the lady is along the left line, and how the sand, ocean, and sky are separated along these lines as well. This distribution of space is more visually stimulating and generally creates a more effective framing of the image. In these examples, you can see how this picture of a man on a motorcycle and a mom with a stroller could be boring, but the framing of the image is key to what makes it still interesting. The subjects are lined up on the vertical lines, and the split between the road and the buildings are not on the center as well. In this image, the main beats are placed in the upper third of the frame, and their roots are trailing down towards the bottom of the image. This is an excellent use of the rule of thirds, as it creates its own sense of a grid within the photo without drawing on any actual lines. The rule of thirds can even spruce up an old family photo. The effective alignment of these ladies with their heads along the upper horizontal line creates an alluring image and a potential contender for the annual Christmas card. Along with the rule of thirds comes the use of space. The use of space is very subjective in images. Depending on the subject and the background, the use of space could be limited or in abundance. It is effective when the presence or lack of space is cohesive to the image as a whole. This image has plenty of space available in the frame, but that is because the image calls for it. The space allows you to take in the scale of the subjects. The size of the people compared to the landscape and the ability to let an image breathe is what space is capable of doing. In this image, we already break one of our established rules. The subject in this photo is dead in the center of the frame. However, all rules, even the rule of thirds, can be bent to fulfill a greater role. The subject is a pretty interesting shape, and there is an air of mystery surrounding it. The space in this image actually enhances that mystery, leaving nothing else to focus on other than this object. Although the space is in use to show scale, contrary to the previous image, it is in fact drawing your focus to the subject in a separate sense that heightens the mystery. Lastly, we have contrast. Contrast in a photo can be from a myriad of things. Contrast in juxtaposition, size, scale, etc. But this image in particular plays off of the contrast of color. Contrast is a tool to direct your eye to the subject of your photo. The stark differences in context will only emphasize your subject and create eye-catching images. Here is another example of contrast, but the reason I show this image is because it effectively combines everything we've gone over so far. The bright red against the light blue are effective in emphasizing the color of the berries and the space present in the image is perfect for showing the scale of the subject. It's even placed along the left vertical line to fulfill the rule of thirds as well. This photo is a perfect representation of the cohesion of all three of these techniques. With the use of the rule of thirds, space, and contrast, you can now frame your images to create effective and excellent photos. Thanks for watching and good luck!